What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and today we are going to take a look at X-23 She was released in the game like I was expecting so uh, I was able to purchase her and uh, unfortunately no red stars or nothing for her I open uh, Elite 4 and Elite 5 because she depends so much on red stars and uh, unfortunately I didn't got any plus a few basic orbs and uh, yeah that's it and even the the shards they were very little i don't know the i have been with very bad luck uh, uh, opening orbs lately but that's fine okay so we are going through her kit uh, just a little bit because i have noticed some things about her kit uh, that uh, were not as i expected and then we'll watch a few clips some of them in blitz others in war and uh, see how she works against uh, different uh, matchups so in terms of the kit it's exactly as we expected for most abilities except the uh, ultimate so the t4 against um, a dodge chance but because domino is already giving dodge most of the times this becomes very irrelevant and you'll see in the clips uh, right after then uh, we have this ability this ability is as good as i expected against taskmaster it makes a huge difference against him and is also very decent against Sif but against other targets is nothing special so uh, as as we expected now the ultimate the ultimate doesn't work at all the way i expected it to work so she attacks the most injured target that is a non summoner target if she kills that target she will jump to another non summoner target if she kills that second non summoned target and it's the last attack that she does she will jump then to a summoned target and repeat these four attacks so yeah she doesn't change from one target to another to another unless they are all very very low and uh, it, it will be very unlikely that you are in a situation like that so the maximum you can use this is maybe on two main targets and then one summon but it really depends on how it works and if the target has death proof and you kill the target with the last attack it might not jump to the other target I don't, i'm not sure exactly how it works with death proof if it was a bug or something like that but we will take a look at the clips and uh, make the conclusions but this Ability is not as strong as I expected. I had uh, this ability recommended as a four out of five stars But right now uh, I'm I'm changing that from four to a two out of five. It's okay, but it's not that a huge deal It really really doesn't work as I expected now in terms of the passive the passive is really really good it uh, you will definitely see a huge difference with the speed bar and with the focus and you need the focus I already tried this team in war and you'll need the focus to dispel uh, so I'm changing this one it was a 4 non-essential and now I'm gonna change it for a 4 but essential unless we don't use X-23 and we use Storm because you'll see from the clips that this team is not as fast as uh, people were thinking and uh, <laughs> we might need the storm to give that speed up and the assists and uh, what to do with x23 then we'll have to take her to the hero brawlers she'll be interesting there as well uh, but unfortunately right now i'm quite disappointed with her uh, but we'll see we need some more testing but right now uh, i think uh, my conclusions are good okay so let's go into the clips and uh, First you're going to watch the clips on Blitz and then we are going to watch the clips on War. Okay, so the first clip is a punch across against uh, Asgardians on Blitz. So obviously it's not going to be Asgardians on its full potential, but we can have an idea of this team. So they start by focusing on Cable and that's terrible. You, you don't want that. Uh, hopefully we want uh, Deadpool to be target. Then I try to apply Disrupt on Sif, unfortunately it didn't work. Then uh, I ability block Hela to make sure I would delay her ultimate. She still target uh, Cable and uh, he's dead. 
So then we apply the heal block on everyone so they can't heal up. Then the Deadpool doing a nice amount of damage and uh, I'm really considering on getting this guy to gear tier 14 because he's so cheap and it will make sure that uh, Cable won't get targeted. Then we have the attack from Thor, that's just fine, we clear all those buffs from there. Then we only have one debuff uh, to change to Deadpool, so we just do the basic. Okay, so now we have the combo from X23. And uh, this is how it's gonna work. She's gonna kill Thor, then she'll jump to Heimdall, and because she doesn't kill Heimdall, she'll not jump to Greg, which it's uh, a little bit lame, but I guess uh, I don't understand if it was supposed to work like this or not. But she did the five attacks on the targets, and uh, the Greg is still there. So then we just had to finish double tap there from uh, Deadpool. She dodged. She dodged even that she didn't have the the buff, some kind of ghost buff or something like that. Now Negasonic with her shield, Deadpool finishing Hela. Uh, X23 healing up because she's getting so much turn meter as you guys saw. And now I just have to finish up Sif. So it was okay but unfortunately um, I expected the ultimate from X23 to work differently. And uh, yeah. So if you are able to kill the targets and lower them uh, under 50%, uh, sure, that uh, will make her go faster, but um, might not work. Now, I wanted to see if uh, we are going to face this team, and I wanted to see if, uh, if you attack a minion that uh, is not a summon, if uh, she is still going to jump or not, and uh, she is. So let's just jump a little bit. We are facing that team, so it's also a punch across. But it's a uh, but it's a team of randoms. So we applied the disrupt on Hulk, so he is not on the way. We apply ability block uh, on Medic, so she doesn't heals up. Basic there. I just wanted to lower all of them to make sure we would be able to kill uh, Medic with. Uh, X23, charge with the cable, and now we have our ultimate ready, and let's see how it works. Okay, go, okay, one attack, two attack, three attacks, and then she jumped for Hulk. It's okay, but uh, it's gonna count as a single target damage, and that's why I have to lower the rating I was giving to the ability. Unfortunately, it's not as good as I expected. It only changed twice, maximum two times on the main target and then uh, on a minion, unless uh, everyone is like extremely, extremely low. So we still were able to get rid of this team quite fast. Deadpool with a double tap and X23 and Cable with uh, his special and that's it. I mean, it's okay, but not very impressive. Okay, so now let's take a look at the matches in war. We faced Red Skull, and then we faced the uh, Mercs. Okay, so here it is, the Red Skull team. It's a 30k punch up. Uh, I was not sure about this, especially because my X-23 doesn't have any red stars. It's a little bit concerning. The power of the abilities counts way more than the power of the red stars. So even if I had a few red stars on X23, the m my team would be still be around the same power. But the enemy is way way stronger, and uh, uh, I I don't know. Like the team just didn't work exactly as I expected. Maybe because my team was too weak or something like that. I just expected to get uh, way more speed. Uh, but unfortunately that's not the case. Okay, there I did a single target because uh, I'm, I was saving the ultimate in case uh, they get some defense up or something like that. Then apply this wrapped on that guy, it chained. 
Now I save the ability block uh, for Rascal for the next turn. So after he summons, so he can use the minions to get uh, speed up. Deadpool with the bleeds doing insane amount of damage, which we which is what we expected. Here I should probably have a turn rewinded uh, Red Skull, but uh, yeah, we need to do a few tries before we have the perfect strategy. I think yeah, I should have turn rewind Red Skull here. It would delay the whole thing and uh, and give me more time to to get all my cooldowns ready to make some something interesting. Okay, so with the Nega Sonic, we clear those buffs on the target. Only two, so that's something we have to consider. I'm not sure if uh, she should have cleared three or something like that, but it's something we have talked about before. So here, uh, is it here when I try? No, it's not yet. Here is when I ability block uh, Red Skull. If I had the uh, turn rewind with the uh, cable before, that will give me a lot more time to then ability block him and so on. But the fact that this team doesn't have any slow or speed up, it's concerning if you are facing teams that uh, uh, will benefit uh, from you not having that, which is the case. So yeah, we don't have many debuffs, so nothing to transfer for uh, Deadpool. Now he's going to finish that guy. Now we have the ability block uh, and uh, X23 she got the speed up and now it's when we use the ability. Now she killed the target and then nothing happens. Uh, so I guess she does from uh, 4 to 5 attacks and then uh, if you kill and if there is a summon then she jumps to uh, the summon or uh, she jumps to another target in case you kill and you do the remaining attacks so yeah the ability is way less uh, good than I ever expected Cable getting destroyed his shield uh, uh, is not enough for him to survive then I had a charge uh, I tried to kill that one uh, so we can get some more turn meter or something like that didn't work perfectly. I should probably once again turn rewind Red Skull. I think that's the deal with this team. We just need to keep turn rewinding Red Skull and making sure he doesn't do any of the abilities. And then we have nothing. We have no cooldowns left. We have nothing to do. And uh, that's it. We don't have any heals. There that pool uh, died, which is what we want. But... Uh, mm. Negasonic uh, handling a lot of damage there. We kill uh, another one. Now Domino is, is dead and uh, that's pretty much game over. We have nothing left, like we, <laughs> we have no cooldowns. Deadpool only gives energy to Cable and uh, that's it, like we don't kill them fast enough uh, for the energy to be on a flow and uh, it's only for cable like I mean cable is great uh, but he's not a whole team so yeah that's it and we almost time it out so yeah I think it might work but it needs the strategy needs to be polished and uh, I need to get that uh, T4 on uh, Deadpool's passive Okay, so now let's take a look at uh, the other fight against Marks. Okay, so here we are, we have uh, a 25k punch up. So that's pretty decent. They are all uh, at tier 10, tier 11 and tier 9, so it's around the same. And they have the med bay up and I have the armory up. So it's sort of balanced. And this fight, it went uh, better than I expected. So. We try to focus on uh, Taskmaster and uh, I'm surprised that we went so fast, way before him. Unfortunately we don't have any ability to dispel him right away. And uh, you see the situation, we are full of bleeds, full of blinds and uh, the problem is that Domino's special is not ready until turn 2, so that's quite lame. 
because it's going to take a very very long time uh, for uh, that ability to be ready and uh, right now we can't do much we have uh, x23 coming and uh, we can uh, ability block uh, the armored guard the tank but we can also disrupt uh, him so which is the best option i'm not sure and that's a huge problem i guess we can have both options in case one fails but at the same time it's quite lame so uh, as you can see the fact that a deadpool has higher damage than everyone else he, he will be constantly dying he already died once but he has 100 percent chance to revive so that's great now as you'll see I'm, I'm going to apply the ability block i was thinking should i go uh, should i do taskmaster or should i do uh, the right guard i should probably do taskmaster because he's going to do the stun and apply the um, uh, offense down but because we have domino it's not that big of a deal she should have uh, the cooldown available after he does his ability so once again deadpool getting attacked Deadpool doing all those bleeds to Mark Lieutenant because he is a minion, he's almost dead. And now Cable with uh, his special, he's going to turn rewind Taskmaster, which is what he wants. The you saw the Merc Sniper, he took uh, a little bit of damage, even that he's far, uh, far away. That's because Cable is charged, and uh, Mark Lieutenant died, so we are in a good position. Now I experience it with the uh, uh, ultimate kills the minion, jumps to the taskmaster, oh, she only did 5 attacks so it was no extra attack and uh, here I was really down because I was blind and uh, none of the abilities uh, go with the blind, it says cannot be blocked but it doesn't say it's unavoidable so we transfer all those debuffs to Deadpool, he's almost dead once again but that's exactly what we want here with Cable getting one more charge, so he gets his uh, barrier. So I don't know, like, uh, I think uh, it will be necessary for uh, Cable to have his passive T4, so he gets that extra barrier. And uh, uh, we will need uh, the passive on Deadpool. Deadpool passive is definitely necessary for this team to work uh, properly because we really need that extra energy on uh, cable otherwise we won't be able to do much S uh, most importantly against red skull maybe against the other teams it works out but we really really need uh, against the uh, red skull so that's going to be the video guys x23 were you able to get some good red stars on her did you bought uh, her offer let me know in the comments below i will definitely going to blitz hard for her and maybe I'll do some live streams so we can uh, farm uh, the blitz uh, together so we don't get uh, bored <laughs> alone and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video this quick preview on x23 and uh, on the full x4 uh, team uh, so if you like the video you know what to do smash that like button like a boss uh, make sure you share it with your friends and I'll catch you guys later see ya